We have another no money spent episode for you guys. This is number 14. We've been killing this series. You guys have been enjoying it. So thank you guys for all the love on it. This past Friday, we had a new program come out. And we have a new 95 Royal Holiday. He is the boss for the third program. He's at 200k XP. So let's talk about how we're going to obtain him. The best ways to do it. The most efficient ways to do it. Let's go ahead and talk about all this stuff. If you guys do enjoy this video, again, smash that like button. It helps with the algorithm. Comment down below if you guys already have Roy Holiday. I'm a little bit behind. I was gone this past weekend, but we're going to get right back into it. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. That way you never miss any videos. But let's get right to the new program. Okay, so we're at the screen. The feature program is Holiday and Friends. Roy Holiday is finally in MLB The Show. It's been a very long time. We've been hoping to have him for uh you know many many years now so it's finally nice to actually have him in the game and i'll be remiss if i didn't show you guys exactly what it looks like it is a 95 postseason roy holiday he's got the cutter sinker curveball splitter and four seam 106 hits per nine he's got great control he's got great break the only problem with him is that he doesn't throw very hard which it's not a huge deal but we wish that he did throw a little bit harder his pitch control is amazing his pitch break is very good as well so this is our new roy holiday a postseason car from 2010 i think he actually ended up throwing a no hitter in this postseason as well this does not reflect that but we will get a 99 overall Roy Holiday at some point. Probably something with the Blue Jays. But we'll, act, we'll end up seeing what that's going to look like. So Roy Holiday is the only program boss for this program. We do have some you know, some other cards as well. We have a Cole Hamill second half card. Uh, 82 hits for 9. Kind of stinks. His break is really, really good. Velocity is not there either. But if you guys remember last year, uh, this... Cole Hamels, I think it was a no-hitter card. It was a 99 card with the Phillies. I don't remember exactly what it was, but um, he was actually very good. There are a lot of top players that like using him. We have a Roy Oswald 87 veteran card as well. Decent card. You know, he's got decent hits per nine. Got some good break. Doesn't throw as hard either. And then we also have a 87 all-star Roy Holiday there too. Uh, Shane Victorino returns to MLB The Show as well. Not a great card there, but you know, it is what it is. We have another Roy Holiday gold card, a Chase Utley card. We have a Carlos Delgado card and a Ryan Howard. And then obviously one more Roy Holiday. So we have a rookie, an all-star, and a breakout card for Roy Holiday. So kind of cool to see all these different cards that are actually in the game for now. But let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to attack this program so as you guys can see i have 36,000, almost 37,000 xp i literally have not been able to play all weekend this is pretty much all from friday when after it came out i kind of just played some br and did kind of some stuff from there uh so i haven't had time to grind it as much but we're going to talk about some great ways to grind this some efficient ways to do it and i think the best way to get going through this without actually having to use a cap a lot of people use the cap you know, it is what it is. You guys can do whatever you want to. But I like stay within Diamond Dice to get those rewards as well. So that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to attack this. So let's go ahead and go over the XP and how we're going to obtain it. As always, you get the gameplay XP just from playing the game. So as long as you're playing it, you're going to be gaining XP. We have daily moments. Daily moments are a really good thing to do, especially when you kind of need some quick XP. These usually take what like three minutes to maybe complete even quicker than that i still need to do the one from from yesterday or today uh but always do those up until the point where you really don't need to do them because they're free xp they're super easy make sure you guys are doing those we have our featured program moments which we've had in every single program so far so i think there are 10 of them here which means there's twenty thousand xp and on top of the gameplay xp on top of that too so keep that in mind as you're doing it these usually take what i don't know 20 minutes to complete make sure you guys do these these are simple they're easy make sure you guys do them 20,000 xp in under a half an hour is a big w especially when we only need to get 200 xp 200,000 xp to get to royal holiday we're gonna talk the week one uh legend flashback here in just a second exchanges never do them they're not worth it please don't do them they're a waste of time sell those extra cards that you have just there's no reason to do those march october again we always talk about this too Kind of a waste of time as well. Just really no reason to do it. It takes like eight hours to complete one of these. And the XP you get from that just really isn't worth it in my opinion. We always skip over that. So make sure you guys are uh, doing that as well for the March October. But we're going to come back to the 
week one legends and we're gonna go ahead and intertwine it with the ringing bell conquest so let's go ahead and look at the ringing bell conquest for 30,000 xp there's only five strongholds here only five which is really really short should not be hard at all one of the biggest things to always take mention or to note at least is to see what the goals are so in the past we've had these goals where you need to actually get these certain turns uh goals done off the way this one is not like that this is just a straight up one which we we just love we absolutely love that no turn based uh goals at all we got uh 25 territories 75 territories capture two enemy strongholds but again there's no turn base there we've got five enemy strongholds ca acquire 100 million fans and then capture all of them to get the ringing bell you get some subs from that i'm sure there's a ton of packs here there's five show packs right there usually they have some really good hidden rewards within these conquest maps as well so keep that in mind as you're rocking through these conquests are always a really good thing they might be pretty tedious and they're not maybe not the most fun thing for the majority of people but for the no money spent grind it's almost a must to do all these you get a ton of packs and from packs we ripping diamonds just keep that in mind too so here is the ring bell conquest should be pretty easy for you guys make sure you guys get it done okay so we're gonna go back to the week one legends and flashbacks so right here we have a ton of pxp mission to be rocking with as we're going through this entire program so off of the rip i already have what royal holidays at 10k and you get ryan howard at 30k we're almost to cross of Gato at 50k and just looking at the actual program so the first one is you have to actually use rookie royal holiday but if you look at this one it's ryan howard carl sogato and chase utley these ones you can actually use any of their cards in the game so if we take a look at ryan howard we have the phillies veteran ryan howard or the phillies cover athlete ryan howard carl sogato you have the breakouts carl sogato card which you get through this program or the takashi one you can use as well and then finally you got chase utley the all-star card and you get the takashi and the prime card too so if you guys have been following along i really hope you guys have been taking advantage of getting these cards early we were talking about how to get these cards over the entire you know span of mlb the show it's been what uh, almost two months now so hopefully you guys are getting close especially if you've been following along these no money spent series episodes we've been helping a ton of people out get these cards so if you guys can get these cards off the rip perfect that's what we want to do you can get these ones done pretty easily put them in the conquest map with you guys put them on your squad probably bat them one through three i already have chase ellie done literally just from playing battle royale as well uh carl sogato and ryan howard put them in there you can put delgado on left put ryan howard at first base easy said easy done uh then we have rookie royal holiday breakout royal holiday victory no holiday always well and then second half hamels again what we're gonna do is we're and once we get these cards if you're still in the conquest map go ahead and throw them in there another way obviously you guys can do this is if you want to do it in ranked seasons I probably wouldn't suggest that, but you can do it in there. You also have Battle Royale and you have Events. Probably Events is the most effective way to do it. Probably the easiest way to do it because Battle Royale, you never know what you're going to get. Events, you can once you get these cards, you can plug them in there. It just kind of depends on what the event is, but usually the events go with the program as well, so it should be pretty cut and dry for you guys to be able to get through that as well. So make sure you guys are putting them in your lineup, killing two birds in one stone, especially with the Conquest map. Depends how far you get with the Conquest map and whatnot, but if you have some of these cards, make sure you throw them in there because it's going to be perfect easy pxp for you guys so lastly some things i want to talk about too is just going past actually going past royal holiday we have some pretty decent uh packs we can get along the way we have big dog set one right there if you guys remember this has been in here for a very long time one of the biggest things too we got a cover athlete choice pack at 270,000. so if you guys have been stocking up on these or if you guys are, you know, a little bit behind on it, if you guys want to still get the cover athlete, these cards will tank. If we just go take a look at it really, really quick in the marketplace. So right here, uh, they are down about 19, 20, 15 for Mickey Mantle. So I think originally they had a pretty large dip. Now, again, they're probably going back down as more people are grinding throughout this program. If we take a look at the marketplace. So at one point, you can't tell. For some reason, the market trends don't show the actual number. I don't know why it kind of makes me mad i know it has the locations but we could obviously see the marketplace as well um so they did take a little dip there once the program initially came out so these should still go down it might not be a bad investment but again i assume that we'll probably have more of these covered athlete programs in a different program or with an event or a conquest map maybe so keep that in mind but this would be a really good time to try to get the joe mauer done if you can i went ahead and sold the ones that i had because i just knew that and i know at some point i'll get these cards back so i went ahead and sold mine so um make sure you guys are taking advantage of that as well when you're looking at the 
program. Let's go back really quick. We're looking at a couple more things. So at 270 XP, we get a cover athletes pack, which we had a buy one in the flash shell. And then obviously in the beginning of the year, when you guys were able to actually obtain those cards, when we pre-order them. If we look at the cover athlete pack really quick. So here are the cover athletes. Seems like they stayed pretty steady within their actual stubs are their what their cost I'm gonna say yeah looks like they went up there they stayed about steady so hopefully once you guys get that pack either you guys can sell if you want to if you guys want to get joe mauer he's very much worth it then also there was a takashi pack too so we go back here you know should keep bringing those prices down as long as people start getting them i, I mean i think a lot of people have already gotten roy holiday so i think these these cards will continue to come down we can tell have these big dog packs and then we have five or we have four five pack bundles at the end. I wish that maybe they would do like a 5, 10, 15, 20. But again, it's a pretty quick program here. There's only 11 days left. There's only two weeks in this program as well. So keep that in mind as you're grinding through it. I assume we'll have a double XP at some point next week too. So that is the program. That's how we're going to obtain Roy Holiday. Hopefully you guys get him pretty quick. Hopefully you guys give him a good chance to, to use this year. I haven't got to use him yet. But I am very, very excited to use him. So hopefully you guys get that chance as well. But... Other than that, I appreciate watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.